Today we're going to take a quick look at some of our online resources for research. The first thing you'll need to do is go to cals.org, look at our research tools, and then explore our selection. Once you are at cals.org, click on the Learn tab. Under the research, you will see a few options of how to navigate our databases. I always like to use research tools A to Z. We're going to look at five of our databases today. America's News, Encyclopedia of Arkansas, Gale Virtual Reference Library, ProQuest, and World Book Online. We'll start with America's News. America's News is a collection of newspapers from across the country. We've got it set up so when you log in, you have quick and easy access to the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Once you select the paper of your choice, you will be able to select the image or text versions of the paper. Some papers do have a 30-day embargo in place until the information is released. The image version looks just like the printed newspaper, while the text version is a collection of the articles. Once an article is selected, many features are available, including the ability to have the article read to you. At the top of the page, you'll find a link to quickly cite your article on the webpage, among the other features. The Encyclopedia of Arkansas is an effort by the Central Arkansas Library System to archive life in our state. It offers free, open information to all who seek to learn about the history, culture, and anything else related to Arkansas. It is kept up to date by a team of editors and a historian. Submissions largely come from members of the public. There are a few ways to browse the information in the database. One is by selecting a letter after clicking all entries. How do you know the information is credible, though? Once a submission is made, it is rigorously reviewed and edited by the CALS team before it goes online. The information is constantly being updated to ensure it is a quality source for research. For a quicker way to browse, you can type your topic into the search bar. At the bottom of every entry is the name and affiliation of the author so you can investigate the source yourself. You will also see when it was last updated. Next we'll look at the Gale Virtual Reference Library. The Gale Virtual Reference Library is full of non-fiction book titles. You can easily browse or search for your topic. It has a number of features to help make the research process go quickly and easily. Citing sources, highlighting key points, taking notes, and getting definitions are a click away. So is the ability to quickly access related topics. Gale's ebook collection is compiled of more than 120 publishing companies to offer a very wide variety of topics. A feature that is extremely helpful, especially in the beginning of research, is the Topic Finder tool. It can help you fine tune your topic and discover angles you may not have considered before. If you need to find a periodical or journal article, ProQuest is the database for you. According to the ProQuest website, they are the largest single periodical resource available. Thankfully, they have a great selection of filters to help sort through their collection. Most notably, I want to point out the peer-reviewed and full-text options. If something is peer-reviewed, that means it has been read and approved by professionals other than the author in the field it covers. Full text means that we have access to the full article instead of just an abstract. Filtering by publication date and source type are also very helpful. Quickly organize your search results by selecting a filter that will best fit your needs. Once you find an article, you will see features on the database on the right hand side of the screen that include the citation tool. You can browse, search, and discover a variety of topics in the World Book Online Encyclopedia database. Today we're going to look at the student edition. It boasts having tens of thousands of encyclopedia articles, nearly 700 videos, and over 17,000 photos and illustrations. Once you find an entry that fits your needs, you will notice an icon to the left of the entry to have it read to you. You can even change the voice. You can quickly cite the source or access other tools using the gear icon at the top of the page. A helpful feature of the database is the educator tools. Quickly find articles and lesson plans that tie into the Arkansas curriculum for grades K through 12. Looking for answers on the internet can be overwhelming. 
it's hard to tell facts from fiction sometimes. But fear not, CALS has you covered with these and more ways to find credible sources for your research. Offering digital research platforms is just one of the ways you can experience the library rewritten. Visit cals.org to learn more today.